We're all familiar with powdered protein, powdered matcha, powdered makeup, powdered mashed potatoes, and powdered baby, I mean, baby powder. And today I'm gonna introduce you to powdered body wash. By the time I'm filming this, I already mixed it, so this is how we're gonna show it. By the way, my name is Leanna. I've been using Blue Land products, the hand soap, and then the three pack of cleaners, multi-surface, bathroom, and window for over two years now. And I just really like them because you don't have to go back to the store and buy a new bottle. You just have a reusable bottle and then you put tablets in it that come in the mail. And there's obviously not as much of an abundance of scents as there are at the store. So it makes it that much more exciting for me to get scents because they'll have new ones for like holiday season and stuff like that. And for that reason, I make sure to get their emails. So when I saw the email about the powdered body wash, I figured I wanna try it. And I was also planning to make videos again. So I figured you guys can watch as well and see how it goes. There is the question of whether it's actually more sustainable since it's being shipped but there's no plastic in the shipping and for the most part it's refills being shipped so i would definitely think it's more sustainable than buying a new bottle every time but comment below if you know more all right let's go experience some powdered body wash it comes with the instructions which are very easy a reusable bottle and then the powder i got the raspberry hibiscus scent but there's also sandalwood sage and water lily dew Rachel seemed to like the smell. By the way, I mentioned the price in the description. Step one, fill cold water up to the line. All right, we have the water filled to the line and we have the powder. And now we're gonna mix them. I would have included the Mix Up Pora song from Blue's Clues, but copyright. Shake the bottle for 10 seconds. I'm sick of wasting all my time. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't know why I did that. Oopsies. <laughs> I was trying to smell it, but. I don't have time to pretend that you care about me when you don't. Reminds me of yesterday when I shook my kombucha and then forgot that you shouldn't open it right afterwards and then it flew all over the passenger seat. Wait an hour for the mixture to activate, then it's ready. During this period of waiting, I figured we could appreciate the process of mixing powders with water and consuming them before consuming the body wash. Not like that though. All right, off to the kitchen. First we have Crystal Light. Although it has artificial sweeteners and has given me heartburn, it still tastes pretty good. Here's me risking getting heartburn. I didn't get heartburn. Five out of 10. Now this is what I'm talking about. Lazy person mashed potatoes. You do have to choose wisely because some brands don't taste as good as others. Easy as pie. I mean potatoes. Eight out of 10. All right, so that was a matter of minutes of me consuming powder for you and an hour of me reading and eating Chipotle for me. Let's see how this turns out. It's already dripping a little bit. The only thing I noticed about it is it has a bunch of like very tiny bubbles. Otherwise it looks just like a regular body wash. If anyone had an issue with bubbles in their body wash, that would be very much a champagne problem. The smell isn't too extreme at all. Like when you smell it, you can smell it, but when you don't smell it, you can't smell it. You know what I mean? like putting in the effort to smell it. Just a sec. Yeah, I'm done. Oh, All right, my arms feel smooth and smell subtly good, and I haven't broken out in hives, so that's a good sign. I'm now gonna use it in the shower and then tell you my rating. All right, after shower Leanna here. I would say it definitely smells good, like I said, but you can't smell it unless you smell it and a lot of people like that better where it's not too extreme of a scent but the raspberry hibiscus was good and i assume the other ones are good too you do see a lot of tiny bubbles but those have kind of gone away the more i shake it but here it is compared to my olay the olay definitely doesn't have a lot of bubbles visually i just thought i would show you it just depends on how well it works obviously not what it looks like i feel clean it smells good and i don't feel sticky so that's good and no hives like i said 
So considering all this, considering price, smell, how well it worked, how easy it was to put together, put together, it was fun, it was like a little project. I would give it a seven out of 10. Okay, the fact that you're still here is mind boggling to me. Please comment below a soap emoji. And if you found this helpful and or mildly entertaining, please give it a like and consider subscribing. See you next time. I know this is irrelevant, but my neighbor has an inflatable castle bounce house and I'm kind of jealous. Rachel loves playing in the water, but that's fairly contradictory to the sustainability vibe of this video. So we're gonna turn that off. I figured of waiting, I figured we could, I figured we could appreciate Someone's using the water next to me, I think. It just ended. I was trying to look skeptical for the thumbnail, so I have all this footage of me just making judgmental faces and it looks so rude. And it makes it that, and it makes it that much more exciting. My name is Leanna and I've been using, and I've been using Blue Land hand soap and